Hello everyone, it's Glenda and welcome back to my channel Creative Grandma. Today's crochet tutorial is for the Easy Cuddle Me Afghan. I made this afghan for my granddaughter. She's eight years old and it's just the perfect size for her to cuddle up in, drag around the house and just have when she just wants to feel nice and cozy and cuddly. So to get started on this afghan, I'm going to tell you everything you need to make the afghan and then I'll go over the stitch multiple. So here is a close-up of the afghan. Now this has a beautiful stitch pattern, very delicate, very lightly textured. Just a nice, cozy, cuddly, squishy, just a wonderful little blanket. Now I have this folded in fours because it is pretty big to try to get in my viewfinder, so it's folded in quarters, but very pretty stitch pattern. And then I put this simple double crochet pico border around the edge just to give it a nice little accent around the afghan. So let's talk about the multiple. The multiple of this afghan, if you want to make it smaller, if you want to make it larger, is a multiple of four plus two. So how you figure out the multiple is you would take four and then you times that by say 20. So if you take four times 20, that would give you 80 and then you must add two, so it would be 82. Or if you take four times 50, that would be 200, and then you would add two for 202. So that's how you figure a multiple. Take the multiple of four, and then you just repeat four however many times till you get to the width you want, and then you add two more chains. So for this design, I chose the Premier Serenity Chunky. This is a beautiful soft yarn. I was really surprised how soft this yarn is. It is just so cozy, so cuddly, so soft, and it's perfect for those grade school children who just really want to cuddle up into that nice, warm, snuggly blanket. This is 109 yards per skein, 100 meters, 3.5 ounces, 100 grams. It's 100% acrylic. It is a five bulky weight yarn. This is machine wash, gentle cycle, tumble dry low, so that's wonderful. And that's why I like this so much for this blanket because I know my granddaughter, she stays cuddled. She eats with her blanket around her, she drinks stuff, she drags it around the house, drags it on the floor, and when you have a child that really uses their blanket and drags it around, uses it for everything, it's nice that you can machine wash and dry those. This is made in Turkey, and this is color number DN600-15, and it's called Majesty. So very beautiful shades of purple, a purplish pink and gray. And this is how it works up. Now Premier Yarns has many colorways available in this yarn. If you don't like the purple tones, I think they have a colorway for just about anybody. So I'll have a special link in the description box underneath this video. If you click that link, you can go right to Premier Yarns website. You can go and look for the Serenity Chunky and you can view all those colors. Now that link is a special link that can save my viewers and subscribers 10% off a $25 order, 15% off your very first order with Premier, and then if you live in the United States, if you order $75 or more, you get free shipping in the USA. So wonderful ways that Premier tries to help save you money. So for this afghan, you're going to need 11 skeins of yarn. So you can choose this color or you can choose whatever color you want. So 11 skeins of yarn. You're also going to need a size L, 11, or 8 millimeter hook for this pattern. You may need a yarn needle to weave in those ends. If you crochet your ends in, then that's fine. But if you don't, then you're going to need a yarn needle to weave in those ends. Now, if you want to make your afghan larger, then you need to purchase more yarn. So that, I think, covers just a about everything so grab your yarn grab your hook and let's get this project started I have my yarn attached to my hook and I just tied a double knot we're going to begin this project and we're going to chain 102 
yarn over the hook, pull it through the loop on your hook, and this creates your first chain. The loop on your hook does not count as a chain. So that's one, yarn over, pull through, that's two, three, four, continue until you have a chain with 102 chains, and I'll be back and we'll get row one started. I'm back. I have my 102 chains made. It's a pretty long chain for our little child's throw. So here's our chain. And now we're getting ready to start row one. So let me zoom back up. So now we're ready to begin row one. So for row one, we're going to skip the first chain, insert into the second chain, and you're going to work a single crochet chain two, one, two, insert back into that same chain and work a single crochet. You just made a single crochet shell stitch. So now we're ready to start the repeat for row one. So if you need help, you would click back onto the video to where I say this is the start of the repeat for row one. You're going to work until I say this is the end of the repeat, and you're going to work it all the way across your chain. So let's begin. You're going to skip the next chain, insert into the next chain, work a single crochet. Skip the next chain, insert into the next chain, work a single crochet, chain two, insert back into that same chain and work a single crochet. And that is the end of the repeat. So let's do it a couple more times. So this is the start of the repeat. We're going to do it again. You're going to skip the next chain, insert into the next chain, work a single crochet. Skip the next chain, insert into the next chain, work a single crochet, chain two, insert back into that same chain and work a single crochet. And that is the end of the repeat. So let's do it one more time, very simple repeat. You're going to skip the next stitch, insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet skip the next chain, insert into the next chain, work a single crochet, chain two, insert back into that same chain and work a single crochet. And again, that is the end of the repeat. So this is what your work is going to look like. So go ahead and repeat that across to the end of your chain. If you need help, just click back on the video to where I say this is the start of the repeat. You're going to skip the next chain, work a single crochet into the next chain, skip the next chain, and work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet into the next, and you're going to repeat that to the end of the row. So go ahead and repeat that, and I'll meet you at the end of row one. I'm over at the end of row one. I have two chains remaining, so I'm going to finish the row. We're going to finish by skipping the next chain, inserting into the last chain across, and working your single crochet, chain two, insert back into that last chain, and work a single crochet. So row one is finished. This is what your work should look like. So now we're getting ready to start row two. So for row two, we're just going to do the opposite of what you're seeing. Single crochet into the center of the shell and shell in the top of the single crochet between the shell stitches. So let's go ahead and get row two started. We're going to start and we're going to chain one and you're going to turn your work. Now we're ready to begin row two. We're going to start and we're going to chain one and you're going to turn your work. We're going to skip that chain one space. You're skipping that first single crochet and you're going to insert right into the chain two space 
of that beginning shell. So when you look at your work, here is that first shell. Insert underneath the chain two space right in the center of that shell. Work a single crochet. Skip the next stitch. Insert into that next single crochet. Work a single crochet. Chain two. Insert back into that single crochet and work a single crochet. Your little shell stitch is made. You're going to jump over to the next chain two space of that next shell. So insert your hook right into the center of that chain two space. Work a single crochet. We're going to skip the next stitch and we're working into the single crochet between those two shell stitches. So skip the next stitch, insert into that next single crochet, work a single crochet, chain two, insert back into that same stitch and work a single crochet. Find your next chain two space of that next shell stitch, insert your hook and work a single crochet. And that is the end of the repeat. I think I forgot to say where the start of the repeat was, so I'm going to work a little bit more with you. So this is the start of the repeat. You're going to skip the next stitch right here. If you don't, if you're not sure, just look on top of your work. You're going to skip that next stitch, insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet, chain two, insert back into that same stitch, work a single crochet. Find your next shell stitch, you're going to insert right underneath that chain two space, work a single crochet. And that is the end of the repeat. So let's do it one more time. Again, you'll see your two shell stitches. So you're working a shell into that single crochet between those two of the previous row, and then a single crochet into the center of the shell. So let's begin the repeat again. You're going to skip the next stitch, insert into that next stitch, work a single crochet, chain two, Insert back into that same stitch, work a single crochet. Find your next shell stitch, you're going to insert underneath that chain two space right into the center of that shell, work a single crochet. And that is the end of the repeat. So go ahead, if you need help, click back on the video. You're going to skip the next stitch, Work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet into that next single crochet, and then you're going to come up to the next chain two space, insert underneath and in through the center of that chain two space, and work a single crochet. Repeat that to the end of row two, and I'll meet you there. I'm over at the end of row two, and you'll notice we have a shell stitch as the end on the row. So you're just going to go right under that chain two space of that ending shell stitch and work a single crochet. And row two is finished, and this is what your work should look like. So let's begin row three. We're going to start with the chain one and you're going to turn your work. You're going to skip the beginning chain one. You're going to insert your hook right into the first single crochet. Work a single crochet, chain two. Insert back into that same first single crochet and work a single crochet. You just made your shell stitch in that first single crochet. So now you're going to jump over to your chain two space, insert into the center, you're going right underneath that chain two space, work a single crochet. You're going to skip that next stitch and insert into the next single crochet, insert into that stitch going under the both of those top two loops, work a single crochet, chain two, Insert back into that same stitch, work a single crochet. 
and that is the end of the repeat. So let's do it a couple more times. You're going to find your next chain two space. Again, this is the start of the repeat. You're going to find your next chain two space of that next shell. Insert underneath the chain two space. Work a single crochet. You're going to skip the next stitch. Insert into that next single crochet. Work a single crochet. Chain two insert back into that same stitch work a single crochet your single crochet shell stitch is made and that is the end of the repeat so let's do it again you're going to find your next chain two space of that next shell insert underneath the chain two space work a single crochet skip the next stitch insert into that next single crochet stitch work a single crochet chain two insert back into that same single crochet and work a single crochet your single crochet shell stitch is made and that is the end of the repeat so go ahead and do the repeat across to the end of the row and I'll meet you at the end of row three. I'm over at the end of row three. I just worked a single crochet into the V stitch and now I have the single crochet of the V stitch left and I have a single crochet. So when you turn your work, you have two stitches. We're going to end the row by skipping that next single crochet we're going to insert into that ending single crochet under both of those top loops. You're going to single crochet, chain two, insert back into that ending single crochet and work a single crochet. So row three is finished. Let me zoom out and show you what it should look like. So here we're at the end of row three. This is what our work looks like. We have rows one through three completed. So now to go ahead and work your afghan, you're going to repeat rows two and row three a total of 55 more times. So you're going to work until you reach the end of row 113. So go ahead, click back on the video, repeat rows two and row three 55 more times. And when you're done, you'll be at the end of row 113. I'll meet you there. We'll do the last finishing row to straighten up our edge, and then we'll put our border on. I'm over at the end of row 113, and I do let my ends hang. I tie them together, let them hang, so in case I lose track of how many skeins I have, I can just count where I tied it together, go up to the next one, like over here, and I can tell that took me one skein to do that section. So then I weave in my ends when I'm all done so I can have a more accurate count of how much yarn I use. So pardon the ends when you're looking at my work, but this is what it looks like. Again, I'm over at the end of row 113. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put a finishing row and put a straight edge row across our work to give it a little bit nicer look to the finished afghan. So I'm going to go ahead and insert my hook back to the end of row 113. So I'm over at the end of row 113, so we're going to chain one and we're going to turn our work and start the last row. So if you're making this longer or larger, then you would not put this row on until you're completely finished with however many times you wanna do that pattern. When you're done making it the length you want, then you're going to put row 114 as the finishing row. So we already chained one, so now we're going to skip the chain one. We're going to skip the first single crochet and you're going to insert underneath that next chain two space and you're going to single crochet. 
Now for this row, we're going to be working half double crochets and single crochets. So we're getting ready to start the repeat. So again, if you need help, click back on the video to where I say this is the start of the repeat and you're going to work until I say this is the end of the repeat and you're going to work to the end of the row. So let's begin. You're going to yarn over. You're going to skip the next stitch, insert into the next stitch, making sure you're going under both of those loops. You're going to yarn over, pull through that stitch. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. You just made a half double crochet. We're going to work another half double crochet into that same stitch. Yarn over, insert into that same stitch yarn over, pull through. You have three loops, yarn over and pull through all three loops on the hook. You're going to skip the next stitch, insert underneath the next chain two space, work two single crochets, one and two. And that is the end of the repeat. So let's do it again. You're going to skip the next stitch, yarn over, insert into the next stitch, and work two half double crochets. One and two. Skip the next stitch, insert underneath the next chain two space, work two single crochet. One and two and that is the end of the repeat and when you look at your work you can see how now we have a straight edge and you don't have those peaks from the shell stitches so let's do it again again this is the start of the repeat you're going to skip the next stitch yarn over insert into the next stitch work two half double crochets one yarn over insert back into that same stitch work your second half double crochet. Skip the next stitch, insert underneath that next chain two space, work two single crochet. One and two. And that is the end of the repeat. So if you need help, just click back on the video. You're going to skip the next stitch, work two half double crochet into the next stitch, skip the next stitch and work two single crochet into that next chain two space. Repeat that to the end of the row and I'll meet you at the end of row 114. I'm over at the end of row 114 and I'm right over at that last shell stitch where you can see that chain two space and I'm going to work two single crochet into that ending shell underneath that chain two space. Insert your hook underneath that chain two space and work two single crochet. So our finishing row is done. This is what your work should look like. You can see how it now has that beautiful straight edge across your work. So now we're getting ready to start the border and I'm going to go ahead and work a simple double crochet peacock border. That's what I use on a lot of my stuff and I really enjoy doing that border. Gives it a really nice look. Now we're going to start the afghan border. So we're going to begin and we're going to chain two. One and two. You're going to turn your work. Now the border I'm going to do, I'm going to work a double crochet pico stitch border. But when I started working the border, because I'm using such a big hook and really thick yarn, it kind of spread the stitches out and made it really roughly. So I'm using a little bit different technique for this stitch pattern is we're going to be double crocheting two together to keep this pulled together and keep this tight so it doesn't stretch out. You want to keep it nice and uniform. So just a little bit different than I usually do it. So the chain two will be the first half of the first double crochet. We're going to start with double crocheting two together and it's made a little bit differently when you start with the beginning chain. So the beginning chain starts as that first half work double crochet into that first stitch. You're going to yarn over, insert into the next stitch, 
yarn over, pull through that stitch, yarn over, and pull through two loops only. So you can see we have two of our stitches half worked, and now we're going to yarn over and pull through both loops, and this creates our first double crochet two together. Now this is work completely different than the other ones because we're starting with that starting chain. So now we're going to work our pico stitch, one, two, and three. You chain three, you're going to bring your hook around, you're going to take your hook from top to bottom down through the front loop only of that last double crochet made, and slip stitch. Yarn over, pull through that stitch, and pull through the loop on your hook, and you can see how we have our pico stitch. So now we're going to start our repeat. Now this repeat will be worked across the top of the afghan. We're going to yarn over, insert into the next stitch, work a double crochet. Yarn over, we're going to double crochet two together, insert into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two loops only and you're keeping the last loop on your hook and we have two loops on the hook. You're going to yarn over, insert into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through that stitch. You have four loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over, pull through two loops only, and when you look at your work you have that beginning loop of where we started and then you'll see you have your two double crochet half worked leaving the last loop of each stitch on the hook. Now we're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops and this creates our double crochet two together. Now we're going to form our pico stitch. You're going to chain three, one, two, three. Bring your hook back around to the front of your work. You're taking your hook from top to bottom down through that front loop of that double crochet two together and slip stitch. Yarn over, pull through that stitch, and pull through the loop on your hook, and you can see our pico stitch is made. And it just helps keep that from stretching out when we do those two stitches together. So that is the end of the repeat. We're going to do it a couple more times. We're going to yarn over, you're going to insert into the next stitch, work a double crochet. Now we're going to double crochet two together, Yarn over, insert into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two loops only. You're going to yarn over, insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull back through that stitch, yarn over and pull through two. You have three loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops on the hook you just double crocheted two together to create one stitch. Now we're going to form our pico stitch. We're going to chain three, one, two, three. Bring your hook back around to the front of your work. Insert your hook from top to bottom through the front loop of that double crocheted two together stitch. Slip stitch, yarn over, pull through that stitch and pull through the loop on your hook and this is what your work should look like, and that is the end of the repeat. So let me show you one more time, and then you can continue on your own across the top of the afghan. You're going to yarn over, insert into the next stitch, work a double crochet. Now we're going to double crochet two together across the next two stitches. Yarn over, insert into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two loops only and you're leaving the last loop on your hook. You're going to yarn over, insert into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two loops only. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. You just double crochet two together creating one stitch. You're going to chain three, one, two, three. Bring your hook back around to the front of your work. You're taking your hook from top to bottom down through that front loop only of that last stitch worked and slip stitch. Yarn over, pull through that stitch and pull through the loop on your hook. 
and that is the end of the repeat. This is what your work should look like. So if you need help, click back on the video. Again, you're going to double crochet into the next stitch, then double crochet two together across the next two stitches, chain three, and form your picot stitch. Again, if you need help, just click back on the video. You're going to repeat that across to your next corner. So go ahead and repeat that across, and I'll meet you at the next corner on the top of your afghan border. I'm over at the first corner of round one. We just went across the top of the afghan. You should have two stitches remaining. So what we're going to do is we're going to yarn over, insert into the next stitch, work a double crochet. Yarn over, insert into the next stitch, which is the last stitch across the top, work a double crochet. We're going to chain three, one, two, three, and you're going to come back around and you're going to insert your hook from top to bottom through the front loop only of that last stitch worked and slip stitch. So the top of our border on our afghan is finished. Let me zoom out and you can get a better look. So this is what our border looks like across the top of our afghan. So now we're getting ready to work down the side of our afghan, so we need to form our corner. Now we're going to work three more double crochet all into the same ending single crochet across the top. Yarn over, insert into that same last stitch, work three double crochet. One. two, and three. So this is forming the transition from going from the top of the afghan around to the side of the afghan. And now we're getting ready to work our border down our length. And we're going to be working into the row end stitches. So when you look at your work, every row ends with a single crochet. So you have a single crochet row, you have that shell row where the chain two is, but you're going right underneath the post of that ending single crochet. So if you're not sure, if you stretch your work when you're looking, you can see those holes open up. Let me see if I can get this so you can see the holes. So here's a hole, we're working here, 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 and as you work down, it'll be easier for you to see. So now we're going to work double crochet two together, but we're going to start into the same space that we already worked. You're going to yarn over the hook, insert back into that last stitch that you worked in that same ending stitch, yarn over, pull through that space. You have three loops, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert into the next row and stitch, yarn over and pull through. You have four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops only. You have three loops, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. And you can see how we just went right around that corner. Now we're going to work our pico stitch, chain three, one, two, three. Bring your hook back around to the front of your work. Insert into that front loop only, top to bottom of the last stitch worked, which is the double crochet two together, and slip stitch. So now we're just going to repeat what we did across the top, only we're working into the row end stitches instead of the top of the stitches. So let's start the repeat again. You're going to yarn over, insert into the next row end stitch, work one double crochet. Yarn over, we're going to double crochet two together across the next two row end stitches. Insert into the next row end stitch, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two loops only. Keep the two loops on your hook. Yarn over, insert into the next row end stitch, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two loops only. 
you have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Now we're going to make our pico stitch, chain three, one, two, three, bring your hook around to the front, insert from top to bottom through the front loop only of the last stitch worked, and slip stitch. And that is the end of the repeat. So let me show you one more time. Again, it's the same procedure, only you're going into the side of each row and stitch. So let's begin again. Yarn over, insert into the next row and stitch, work one double crochet. Now we're going to double crochet two together across the next two row end stitches. Yarn over, insert into the next row end stitch, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, pull through two loops only and you have two loops remaining. Yarn over, insert into the next row end stitch, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, pull through two loops only. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. You double crocheted two together, creating one stitch. Now we're going to work our pico stitch. Chain three, one, two, three. Bring your hook back around to the front of your work. You're going into the front loop only, top to bottom with your hook through that front loop of that last stitch made, yarn over and pull through all loops on your hook. You just created your pico stitch. Again, you're going to work one double crochet into the next row and stitch, and then you're going to double crochet two together across the next two row end stitches and work a pico stitch. So go ahead and repeat that down your length and I'll meet you at the next corner. I just worked down my length and you should have ended with your double crochet two together in the last two rows. So you're ending in that last row end stitch. This is what your work looks going down your length. So now we're going to work our corner. So we're going to work three more double crochet into the same space as our last stitch was worked. So yarn over, insert into that same row and stitch, work three more double crochet. One, two, and three. Now we're going to be working across the bottom of our foundation chain. So each chain will be a stitch. So we're going to begin and we're going to work a double crochet two together. You're going to yarn over the hook, find your first chain, and when you're looking at your work, each chain has that sideways a slant to it, or you can try to look at the base of the stitches. Yarn over, insert into that first chain, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two. You're going to yarn over, insert into the next chain, yarn over and pull through. You have four loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two loops only. You have three loops, yarn over and pull through all three loops. You're going to work a pico stitch, chain three, one, two, three. Bring your hook around to the front of your work, insert from top to bottom through the front loop only of the last stitch worked and slip stitch. So now we're just going to start the repeat again. We're going to be working one double crochet into the next chain and then double crochet two together across the next two chain and work a pico stitch. So let's begin. This is the start of the repeat for across the bottom of your afghan. Yarn over, insert into the next chain, work a double crochet. Yarn over, insert into the next chain, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, pull through two loops only. Yarn over, insert into the next chain. Yarn over and pull through. You have four loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two loops only. You have three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops on the hook. You're going to work a pico stitch, chain three, 
one, two, and three. You're going to bring your hook back around, insert from top to bottom through the front loop of the last stitch worked, and slip stitch. And that is the end of the repeat. So let's do it one more time. Same procedure, you're just going into the chain stitches. Yarn over, insert into the next chain, work a double crochet. Yarn over, insert into the next chain, Yarn over, pull back through the chain, yarn over, and pull through two. You're going to yarn over, insert into the next chain, yarn over, and pull through. You have four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops only, yarn over, and pull through all three loops on your hook. You double crocheted two together, making one stitch, and now we're going to work our pico stitch. Chain three, one, two, three. Bring your hook back around to the front of your work, insert into the front loop only, and slip stitch. And that is the end of the repeat. So go ahead and repeat that across your foundation chain. Again, you're going to double crochet into the next chain, double crochet two together across the next two chain, and then work your pico stitch. If you need help, click back on the video and I'll meet you at the next corner. I'm over at my corner. I just worked across the bottom of our foundation chain. This is what it looks like. And now we're going to finish the bottom. We're going to work a double crochet into the next chain. So now we're going to finish the bottom of our afghan. We're going to yarn over and we're going right up to the side of this first stitch going down the length of our afghan. So you can see the end stitch here. We're just going right over here. There's a little tiny spot here where you can see that chain. You're going to insert into that space. I'm going to try to grab another loop underneath there just to make it nice and secure in that corner. So I grab that second loop, work a double crochet. Now we're going to chain three and make that pico stitch. One, two, three. Bring your hook around to the front of your work, insert from top to bottom through that front loop of that last stitch worked, and slip stitch. Now we're going to go ahead and form our corner and we're going to work three more double crochet all into that same space. Yarn over, insert back into that same space, work three double crochet. One, two, and three. So our corner is formed. So now we're going to start working down our length. And again, we're doing it in the same manner we did on the other side. So when you look at your work, we're going to be working right into the row end stitches. So you'll see when you look at your work, you'll be able to see these openings of where those row end stitches are. And with this side, the stitches stick out just a little bit here, so you're going to be working right over that hump. So look for those openings in your work, and this is where you're going to be putting your stitches. So let's begin. We're going to start with a double crochet two together, and we're going to be working that right into the same space that we worked our last stitch. You're going to yarn over, insert into that same space, Yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, and pull it through two loops. You're going to yarn over, insert into the next row end stitch, yarn over, and pull through. You have four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops only. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over, and pull through all three loops on your hook. Now we're going to make our pico stitch, chain three, one, two, three. Bring your hook around, insert from top to bottom through the front loop of the last stitch worked, and slip stitch. And now we're going to start the repeat, and this is the same as it was for the opposite side. You're going to yarn over, 
insert into the next row and stitch, work one double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into the next row and stitch, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two loops only, keeping two loops on the hook. Yarn over, insert into the next row and stitch, yarn over and pull through. You have four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two loops only. You have three loops, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. You're going to chain three, bring your hook back around, insert from top to bottom through the front loop of the last stitch worked, and slip stitch. So same procedure, I'll show you one more time and then you can continue on your own. You're going to yarn over, insert into the next row and stitch, and again when you're looking for those stitches just pull and they'll open right up and you'll see that opening. Work a double crochet. Now we're going to double crochet two together across the next two row end stitches. Yarn over, insert into the next row end stitch, yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two loops only. You're going to yarn over, insert into the next row end stitch, yarn over, and pull through. Yarn over, pull through two loops only. You have three loops, yarn over, and pull through all three loops on your hook. You double crochet two together, making one stitch. You're going to make your pico stitch, chain three, one, two, three. Bring your hook around to the front, insert top to bottom through the front loop only, and slip stitch. And that is the end of the repeat. So go ahead and work one double crochet into the next row end stitch. Then you're going to double crochet two together across the next two row end stitches and then work your pico stitch. If you need help, click back on the video, repeat down the length of your afghan to the next corner and I'll meet you there. I just worked down the length on the fourth side of our afghan. So when you get to the last corner at the very end of the afghan, you ended with your double crochet two together and pico stitch. Now to finish our border, we're going to work three more double crochet into the same stitch as that last part of that uh, double crochet two together was made. So right into that same space, we're going to work three double crochet. Yarn over, insert back into that same space as the last stitch was worked. Work three double crochet. One. Two. And three. So now we're going to join. Now we started the round with the chain two. So we're going right up here under that chain two and we're going to slip stitch. So count up one, two, insert underneath the top two loops of that chain two space and slip stitch. We're going to fasten off. And I chain two, one, two, I pull my hook up, pull the yarn out, Grab the yarn, take your fingers, pinch, pull down, and then it creates a secure knot. So I'm going to go ahead, get my yarn needle, and weave all my ends in through my stitches. You're going to bring it down through the stitch, take it across, bring it back, and if you have enough yarn, take it across a third time to really make that nice and secure on the back of your work. So I'm going to go ahead and weave in all my ends, and I'll be back and show you the finished afghan. Our afghan is finished. This is what it looks like. Thank you everybody for stopping by today and crocheting with me. Again, this pattern is available on our website, creativegrandma.net, and I also have a link in the description box underneath this video. So until next time, stay inspired and happy crocheting.